All right, all right, L-D-W-M-M-A-C. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. And you're live, live, live on the Coach's Show, the Coach's Show Live for your entertainment. But I tell you what, man, I know you guys have been waiting on my breakdown, Amanda Serrano versus Heather Hardy. I know y'all been waiting on this breakdown. Well, wait no longer. Here it is, okay? The coach been working a 1,000 hours, but I'm here for y'all now. But check this out, man. So some, you know, some betting lines, okay, actually had Heather Hardy the favorite. And, you know, sometimes I think that, you know, when some of these people, they, they, they put the odds out there. I think some of these people, a lot of them, they look at resumes. You know, they look at, you know, resumes, they look at records, and they look at how the fighter wins and yada, 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 okay? Well, you know that Heather Hardy is coming in here with four knockouts, okay? So, you know, to Amanda Serrano, the game plan was just to walk forward. Because in Serrano's mind, and she said this before, that uh, Heather Hardy don't have any power to hurt her. You know, and, and, and Amanda Serrano kind of, she told it. And I'm like, yo, you know, why would Amanda Serrano get on, like, you know, whatever, wherever she was at, why would she get on there and actually say it? Well, she didn't really have any respect for the power of Heather Hardy. And I'm just being 100, okay? She really didn't have a lot of respect for the power. And when this fight played out, you can actually see she didn't. Round one was very, very brutal, if your name is Heather Hardy. It was brutal. Uh, you know, I thought that Amanda Serrano was actually going to close the show right then and there, okay? And this is Amanda Serrano, 36-1-1 versus Heather Hardy, 22-0. I thought that Amanda was going to close the show um, because she had Heather Hardy hurt, man. And I'm going to tell you what, them body shots, man, Amanda Serrano was not playing with them body shots, man. Um, she was catching Heather Hardy to the body. And every time she caught Heather Hardy to the body, Heather Hardy would drop her hands. And it is like she would bag Heather Hardy up against the ropes. And Amanda Serrano just started teeing off, man. And part of me thought that, uh, you know, Heather Hardy, you know, was on like weak, wobbly legs. And I thought that she was concussed, man. Heather Hardy, you know, had, you know, sort of the telltale signs of concussion. But, you know, I wasn't really, really, really sure. And I wanted to see how Heather Hardy was going to, uh, you know, actually recover. Amanda Serrano, you know, again, a lot of these people that make these odds, they don't really watch the fights. Because I started scratching my head. I said, so why is Heather Hardy the favorite, you know? They're both good fighters, but, you know, I don't think they've ever watched Amanda Serrano. Amanda Serrano, her form is very, very tight. It's extremely tight. And everything's so fluid. And she's very defensively responsible. So... You know, I was kind of thinking this fight was going to be, you know, a lot closer than what they had it, you know. Really, it should have been a 50-50 fight, you know, coming in if you really didn't know anything about it. I See, I kind of figured, in my opinion, I thought Serrano was going to win because of just technique, okay. I thought this was going to be a purely technical boxing match. Amanda Serrano is very technical. Heather Hardy is very gutsy. And that's the kind of fight that you got, okay? You got a technical uh, striker versus a, a gutsy brawler who's not afraid to mix it up, and that's Heather Hardy. Um, round two, Heather Hardy, you know, you can start to see her recovering a little bit. Um, you know, she was, you know, trying to be more defensive so she can avoid those head strikes by Amanda Serrano. She was being very defensive, and basically she used round two to kind of recover. It was still just a dominated round by Amanda Serrano. And uh, Heather Hardy just kind of kept her hands down you know, for a, a, a majority of that round, she kept her hands down and she was slipping punches. She was slipping jabs, you know, so she did that for most of round two. Round three, Heather Hardy started to put punches together and she started to stand her ground because she had been backing up for most of the fight. And so she stood her ground. She stood her ground and she started fighting back and she started catching the man of Serrano to the body and Serrano started dropping her hands. I'm like, oh, this going to be a night of body shots, man. But I feel like Amanda Serrano came back and she started really getting her shots off, man. And, uh, you know, Heather Hardy just didn't have any, she didn't have an answer for the firepower, man. She had no answer for it. And so, again, in round three, you know, Heather Hardy was being backed up. I said, man, is this the kind of fight it is going to be? So, you know, toward the middle rounds, okay, Heather Hardy began to come back on. She began to come back. And a few of the swing, uh, a few of the middle rounds, Heather Hardy, I thought she won a few of those rounds, okay? I thought she won a few. Uh, she really started investing into the body of Amanda Serrano. She started going back at her. Instead of backing up, Heather Hardy began to stand her ground and fight back. But it's just Amanda Serrano was too much. It's just too much. Like Heather Hardy would, would, would counter with one right hand. And then Amanda Serrano come back with three, you know. 
like she would go to the body back to the head amanda serrano did a beautiful job of mixing this thing up man she mixed it up to the body and to the head and amanda serrano kept that constant pressure man and it's just heather hardy she couldn't deal with that man she really legit could not deal with that and then toward the end you know you can see heather hardy really just trying to stand in there and bite down on her mouthpiece and come back but man <laughs> amanda serrano just amanda serrano put them hands on y'all I, I can't even lie okay amanda serrano like the last three rounds she laid hands on heather hardy like we was in church and like heather hardy had his spirit in it, and amanda serrano had to come over there and and you know uh, slap on top of the head and say sit down in the name of jesus I actually, I thought that this fight was going to, I thought, I thought Amanda Serrano was going to knock out, man. And in some points of the final rounds, it looked like it, it was going that way. And then the last 30 seconds, Amanda Serrano just let her hands go, man. She let them hands go and Heather Hardy started backing up. I don't even think Heather Hardy could deal with the power of Serrano. And Serrano really didn't give, she gave zero Fs about Heather's power, man. She just kept walking straight ahead. Now, I tell you what, though, those body shots. You know, I thought Heather Hardy should have done more of the body shots because Amanda Serrano was feeling those. And when she hit Amanda with a good body shot, she would back up. But that's really about it. The head shots, Amanda just ate them and kept coming forward. And it's crazy, man. Amanda put so much crazy pressure on Heather Hardy. She tried to fight back, man. But it's just, it just, it's not there, man. You can see the levels in skill. Amanda Serrano's skill level is just well above Heather Hardy. And to me, if they fought nine times, if they fought ten times, uh, Amanda Serrano probably would win, you know, nine times out of ten. She probably would. And probably on the tenth time, she may even get the knockout. This fight, to me, it was it was one-sided, okay? It was one-sided. I had to fight, what, uh, eight to two for Amanda Serrano. And I think the judges, I think most of the judges almost gave every round to uh, um, Amanda Serrano. I, I had an eight to two in favor of Serrano. Um, I just, I couldn't see where Heather Hardy was even trying to turn it on. Because Heather Hardy just spent so much try time trying to deal with the speed and the power of Amanda Serrano, guys. And listen, that's just the way that is. That's just the way that is, man. But shout out to both of these young warriors, these lady warriors, man, for getting in there and banging it up. You know, Heather Hardy, keep your head up, girl. Hey, hey, it's the fight game, man. You know, it's boxing. You ain't going to be a great champion, you know, winning all the time. Sometimes you do lose. And you know what? How she bounced back, it's up to her don't know you guys tell me what you think about this fight in the comment section this is your boy coach Sheldon Harrison I'm done what are you guys waiting on nah what are y'all really waiting on